Welcome to the Skills Commons repository. In this video, we are going to learn how to edit a submission that has been entered into the repository. Let's begin. Open your web browser and go to www.skillscommons.org. Click on Contribute, located in the top of the menu of the Skills Commons website. Sign into Skills Commons using the username and password that you were given. Once you've signed in, you'll be taken to the Submissions and Workflow Tasks page. On this page, you will see a list of your archived submissions. If there's an item you wish to edit, but you are not the original creator of the item, it will not show up in this list. The way to find that item is to search for it in the repository, and then once you're on that page, uh, you'll be able to edit the item. So for our purposes, we are going to edit the this sample biology course so I'm going to go ahead and click on that so now you are on the item page and as I mentioned before if you are not the original creator of this item but you are in the same project and you have rights to edit and delete items you will be able to scroll down and see the option to edit this item so we're going to go ahead and click on that so now you're on the edit item page and in this video we're going to go through a couple of um, different types of edits so the first edit we're going to go through is we're going to add a new field so say that while you were filling out the form you didn't know the uh, link to the formal accessibility policy but after you made the submission you found the link and now you want to add it so what you would do is find the metadata name for the formal accessibility policy. So I happen to know that the metadata name for that is merlot.ada.formalpolicy. So we'll scroll down and find that. If you are unfamiliar with the metadata names, there is a written documentation that goes along with this video that you can review. And in that documentation, in the appendix, there is a full list of all of the fields and their associ associated metadata names. So uh, please go and review that list before you continue so that you know you are adding and editing the appropriate fields. So the link to the formal accessibility policy for the California State University, um, I have that here, so I'm just going to paste that in here into the value field. And then I'm going to click on Add New Metadata. You will then get the notice at the top that says New Metadata was added. So we'll, let's go ahead and scroll down and find uh, what we added. So we're going to go down to the Merlot section and we have, there it is, we just added this new field um, and we put in the value for the field. So you can go ahead and scroll to the bottom and click on update and the metadata was uh, successfully updated. So the next example um, I'm going to walk you through is adding another value to a repeatable field. So once again, if you're not familiar with the fields and which ones are repeatable and which ones are not, please take a moment and review the written documentation that goes along with this um, and see Appendix A in the written documentation. And it will uh, indicate the field, the field name, and whether it is repeatable um, or whether it isn't. So the repeatable field that we uh, are going to use in this example is author. Now we know author is repeatable because there can be multiple authors for these items that we are submitting. So you're going to uh, find the metadata name, which is DC Contributor Author. So I'm going to find that up here. DC contributor author okay so it's it's pretty specific because you'll see down here DC contributor that's not the one you want so we want DC contributor author and um, in that 
documentation, the appendix, you will see the appropriate way to add the field. So in this case, it's last name, comma, first name. So we uh, already have two authors, but we realize we left one of our authors out. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the third author as Mary Smith. And I'm going to click Add New Metadata. And then I will scroll down to DC Contributor Author. So the first person we had that we had entered initially was Donald Smith, and we had entered Mary Watson, and now we have just added Mary Smith. So um, that is how you add a repeatable field. So you can also edit um, data that you had entered previously when you had originally done the submission. So let's just go ahead and show you an example of that. We'll scroll down and we'll say in the initial submission you had said that the time required for this material was one hour but it really is two hours. You can go ahead and change that here. So this would apply uh, to any of the fields. You can scroll if you see a typo you can change that um, in this area. So go ahead and click update and that was changed to two hours. So we're going to go ahead and click, scroll to the bottom and click return. And that has taken us back to the, or the submission page. So if we want to see some of the changes, we can see now that, you know, we've added Mary Smith as an author. There she shows up. We have added, scroll down, two hours before it was one hour. And we have also added the accessibility policy. The link is here. So the next type of edit you might find that you need to make is actually adding more material to the submission um, or deleting a piece of material on the submission. So what I mean by that is, We'll go ahead and scroll to the top. So when we completed the submission, we uploaded this document to go with the submission. You may find it necessary to actually go in and edit this particular item that you uploaded that's attached to the submission. You may also find it necessary to add more materials to this submission. So the next part of this um, video, we're going to talk about that. So we're going to go back and click on edit this item. And now instead of clicking on item metadata, we're going to click on item bitstreams. Bitstreams are the materials that are actually getting uploaded into the repository. So on this page you'll see there's a license.txt. That's the license that you agreed to initially when you made the submission. And so this was the original material that I had uploaded to go along with this submission. This here, biology101.txt and its description. So if I want to make an edit to this, and I let's just say I want to give it a different course description, I can go ahead and click on it. And this is the file name of what I uploaded and here's the course description so maybe I just want to be a little more formal and you know capitalize um, these course on biology 101 okay so this is where I would make that edit and I will go ahead and click Save and then you will see that um, the description that goes along with this material now reflects those changes so if I want to add um, some more material to this submission, I can do that here as well. So what I can do is upload a new bitstream. So basically what that is, is you're uploading more material to go along with the submission. So this is how you do that. Click on Upload a New Bitstream. Browse and find the material that you would like to upload. So in this case, I'm going to just select this Biology 101 final exam. It's just a sample text but for this um, video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then click on Open. And then you see it here. And then I'm going to add a description. 
I'm going to call it Biology 101 Final, oops, Final Exam. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click Upload. And then you can scroll and see that you now have um, some more materials that are associated with the submission. So we've uploaded this final exam here. So in the same way that you, you know, have just added more material, you may find a need to delete some material. So say, for example, you accidentally uploaded the wrong material for the submission. So the way you would go ahead and delete it is just click on the item that you want to delete and then click delete bitstream. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to get this confirmation. Do I really want to delete this? And yes, I do. So I'm going to click on delete. And then you will see that the bitstream has been deleted. So let's just scroll down and see. So now we just have the, the one item here. So let's go ahead and see some of the changes we just made. Click on return. And then we can see we have added Biology 101 final exam and then we had deleted the previous set of materials. And so this concludes our tutorial on how to edit items in the Skills Commons repository. If you have questions or need assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at skillscommons.org. Please visit our Support Services Center at www.skillscommons.org for additional videos and tutorials.